Okay, we might be back. Uh, I'm gonna do some searching around, so this might be in fast mode or something. I don't know if I find it quick. Uh, maybe you'll hear what I'm saying right now. Quickly. This is what I uh, missed. Okay. Yep. Ice beam. Yep. Ice beam, of course. Jelly. Oh, that straight up makes the same sound. Had to check. Save and wave beam for last. It makes more sense, actually. That's, uh, oh, nice. Yep, nice. Okay. Back on track. So that didn't take too long at all. Uh, I don't even remember where all the jellies were now. I don't need to go jelly cleaning. That, that sounds gross. Ew, jelly cleaning. I, I mean, oh right, of course, yeah. The boss fight. Right. Hello. <laughs> Greetings from Metroid Fusion. Doggy, come back here. Donkey! Oh, do I have to freeze him and then... Oh, that... You clever bastard. <laughs> this boss man is gonna be a nightmare.
juices. The juices, huh? Ah, oh, they float up when they're frozen. That's beautiful. Yep. Worth it. Absolutely worth it. why they were still, yeah, they never got easier. Uh, you know, usually enemies when you enter a zone are much harder than when you leave it. Fish them. Well, I got the screw attack. That made everything easier. But that was in the last zone, I think. I know. Buttons, buttons, gotta learn my buttons. Hop down and then time that up and then boost up to get that one item I missed. On. Like I said, that'll be all kinds of fun some other time, but uh, now is not that time. Okay. This was under lava two earthquakes ago. Submerged in lava. Just want that to be stated for the record. Item check. How do you skip items in this game? I mean, Prime, or uh, not Prime 2, just Metroid 2 is always pretty linear. The only one honest to god sequence break to speak of. Oh, well, right there's your answer. Just like in Zero Mission, that's how. See, and that, alright, so, that's one thing people like to talk about. You know, uh, part of the fun of Super Metroid is, um, you know, like actually breaking the game, whereas everything in Zero Mission was pretty much intentional. But, like, we can't go back to the state of, I don't know, ignorance that created... Super Metroid in the first place. I don't. I don't mean that to be insulting or anything, but I mean it, it was a product of its time. They literally didn't know, like, to what extent we would go. You know, uh, they didn't know how far we, the human species, ah, hey, look where we are, uh, would take this shit. Um, and by zero mission, they did. Like, I, I, and it's the same thing with this game. You pretty much have to do it intentionally at this point. Um, because we know the way people play video games. So, uh, you know, like any Metroid going forward, I'm not saying you'll never be able to break any Metroid game or Metroidvania game going forward, but um, at this point, if they're well made, uh, shouldn't have to. Like, we know that's one of the core appeals of a, a Metroidvania game. Is, 
uh, is that sense of, of like breaking the order. We like sequence breaking, and yeah, Zero Mission was made with that in mind, but it's still a blast. You still get to... Yes, there's the optimal path, which if you want to get more bike birds, you have to take, but for you and me, speed running it, you know, like, maybe you grab a couple missile tanks, I don't. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe you feel the need to get... Or maybe you can get away with skipping the long shot. I never skip the long shot. I don't I, No. I refuse to do it. I, uh, I'm not. I, I'm not that committed. I love zero mission, but man, I've done a short beam run and it sucks. It's just not fun for me. I'm gonna fight a Mago up here and just traipsing through the architecture here. Can I just screw attack you again? Can I just say screw you? really afraid of what's coming next if they're just gonna throw one of these little fuckers at me. I feel like they're just trying to put me at ease. We're just doing little itty bitty incremental lava lowers now. Oh, look at that. Wait a second. That earthquake went the wrong direction. Didn't I knew it? I knew it. Give it. Okay, give it to me straight. Alive. Oh, they're gonna be dead. What's up, guys? Oh, they're dead now. Ah! Oh. Oh, ground pounds. Gotcha. We're gonna have to just get past you here if you don't mind. Get my uh, aim it down before I went wasted supers on it. Oh, okay. Right, right, ground up. Yeah, see, I got my aim it down. Wait a second. Isn't this when the ice weakness starts kicking in? Wasn't that the point of the end of fusion? It's whatever form these guys are, does not like ice? No? Okay. Oh, right! I've got the fucking moonwalk. Shit. You know, 
if we let this go on long enough, I'm thinking they might develop language. Civilization. And they're walking on two feet now. That's, that's a pretty big upgrade. Whoa. spot on its back or is that just has a weak spot on its back? Like that only shows up temporarily. Yeah, see? It opens up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sick combo. Running out of missiles here. You're gonna have to get to dying pretty quickly. Ow, ow, okay, okay, okay. I yield. Ow! Remember all that false sense of security shit I was talking about? Yeah, this is what I meant.
flamethrower. Yeah, that's how you do. Damn. Alright, so I think I only missed one super missile that time, maybe two. to the, um, I don't know, Zeta, whatever the boss of fusion form Metroids are, um, they, uh, they didn't seem to mind Ice Beam in the slightest, so I wonder how many more of those I'm gonna have to go up against, like, four at least, I think, again, assuming it's the same as, uh, 
Zero mission. Twelve. We're down to the last twelve Metroids, so I'm guessing we're down to the nitty. Probably down to the gritty, too. There's not much left to go. God damn, look at this map. So, uh... Tune in next time for the thrilling part or two or three before the conclusion.